Are these the most perfect vegan brownies? Hello and welcome to my new series where I try popular vegan recipes. Today we'll be trying out the most perfect vegan brownies on YouTube by the channel Make It Dairy Free. I'll be linking their original video down below so you can check out their recipe. But for now, let's see if these brownies live up to their name. Like this video and subscribe for more content like this and let's get to it. They suggest using espresso powder to bring out the chocolatey rich flavors from the batter, but I don't have any espresso powder. I do have an actual espresso coffee pod though, so we're gonna make a shot of espresso and add that to our batter. Mmm, that smells good. It's gonna wake us right up. All right, toss it into your big old measuring cup. And now we need half a cup of water all together. So I'm just gonna fill this cup up to that four ounce line right there. The next step is gonna be to make a simple syrup, which I've never seen done in a brownie recipe before, but he says that it creates that nice shiny look on the top. So I'm curious to try this. All right, so I've got that half cup of liquid here, including the espresso shot. We're gonna add that to a small saucepan along with our vegan organic cane sugar. And we're just gonna heat that over medium low until the sugar dissolves, but make sure that this mixture doesn't come to a boil. It only takes a few minutes. Now our sugar is fully dissolved and liquidy. So you can take this off the heat and set it aside. This is also a good time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we're gonna measure out our all-purpose flour. And the best way to do this, is, when you're baking at least, is to scoop it out into your measuring cup with a spoon instead of digging into your whole bag of flour with the measuring cup because otherwise that's gonna lead to having more packed flour than you actually need. So then we just kinda level it off right there. Okay, and we need a cup and a half. Now we're gonna sift in our cocoa powder. And this is to prevent any lumps and make sure that the texture is nice and even. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of powdered sugar. And by the way, if you don't have powdered sugar, but you have a high speed blender like a Vitamix, you can actually just add regular cane sugar into your blender and whirl it on high for a few seconds and it'll create this nice powdered consistency. So you don't have to go out and buy it separately. Now add your salt. Stir all the dry ingredients together. Now, Andrew suggests using a flax egg, but he has also tested this out with applesauce and he said it turns out great. And I happen to have applesauce, so I'm gonna use three tablespoons of that. And this is going to be basically our egg replacer to make it vegan. Now let's add the rest of our wet ingredients, including the vanilla. Now we need a neutral flavored vegetable oil, so I'm gonna use this grapeseed oil. And last but not least, we have our espresso simple syrup. Now whisk your batter until there are no more dry clumps left. Okay, ooh, look at that gooey, consistent texture. Now we're gonna add half a cup of non-dairy chocolate chips. These were just semi-sweet chocolate chips that I found in bulk. Just check the ingredients that there's no dairy. And we're gonna stir that in, and because our simple syrup was still warm, our chocolate chips are just gonna melt right into the batter. Now get yourself an eight by eight baking dish, line it with parchment paper and just grease it a little bit. I had a little extra grapeseed oil there and we are going to transfer our batter. Ooh, look at that melted chocolate streaked in there. Mm -mm, smells good already. Make sure you remove the clips before you throw this in the oven. Spread it out as evenly as you can and then sprinkle on an extra quarter cup of chocolate chips. I like to press them into the batter just a little bit. Now put your brownie pan in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. It's been 35 minutes, let's check on our brownies. Wow, these brownies smell amazing and they look phenomenal on the outside. There's a nice little crispy crust and the chocolate chips are slightly melted. So we have to check and make sure it's fully cooked on the inside. So test it with a little toothpick. And if it comes out pretty clean, um, not too wet, then you know it's ready. So yeah, this one didn't come out goopy. So we're gonna just let the brownies sit for 10, 15 minutes before we cut into them. All right, I've been letting these brownies cool down for about 20 minutes now. So hard to wait. Now we're gonna slice them up. Oh 
my gosh, these brownies look perfect. They're shiny and crispy on top. We've got melty chocolate chips. Look how fudgy it looks on the inside. And that edge looks nice and crispy too. So let's give this a try. I'm speechless, wow. If you love chocolate, you are gonna devour these brownies. They're still a little warm, but oh my God, this is like a chocolate lover's dream right here. Okay, cameraman, <laughs> let's see what you think. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in heaven. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna finish that whole thing, aren't you? No. <laughs> Good thing there's more. I just want to start by saying thank you to Make It Dairy Free. You guys are amazing. I'm going to link their video and recipe down below in the description. So please go check them out and subscribe to Make It Dairy Free as well. I did want to share that I made a batch of these brownies and took them to a party yesterday. And it was, there were a bunch of non-vegans there and they loved it as well. They didn't even, they couldn't even tell that these brownies were vegan. So if I would make one suggestion, I think we should rebrand these as the most perfect brownies. Period. Vegan or not, they're that good. <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed the recipe. Also subscribe so that you can see more future videos like this. And comment below if there are any other popular recipes that you want me to review on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. We're gonna try dipping this brownie in some oat milk. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. <laughs>